His name is Morgan Andrew Robertson. No, he wasn't a passenger on the Titanic. He was an American author who in 1898, 14 years before the Titanic's maiden voyage, published a short story originally titled Futility and later renamed Wreck of the Titan. That in itself is not remarkable. What is remarkable is how eerily similar the events in his story are to those of the real-life Titanic. His story features an enormous British luxury liner called the Titan, which is described as the largest craft afloat and the greatest of the works of men, and, like the Titanic, was considered unsinkable. The Titan is described as 800 feet in length. The Titanic was 882. The Titan carried 24 lifeboats, as few as the law allowed, less than half needed for her passenger capacity. The Titanic carried only 20 lifeboats, less than half the number required for her passenger capacity of 3,000. On an April night, the Titan, moving too fast at 25 knots, hits an iceberg in the North Atlantic, roughly 400 miles from Newfoundland. On April 14, 1912, 20 minutes before midnight, the Titanic, moving too fast at 23 knots, strikes an iceberg in the North Atlantic, 400 miles from Newfoundland. The Titan sinks bow first and 2,500 souls are lost. The Titanic sinks bow first, and 2,208 people die in the frigid waters. In both cases, the agonizing screams of the dying are heard by survivors. Morgan Andrew Robertson died on March 24, 1915, 11 months and 10 days after the Titanic went down.